As we told y'all, we're back in Arizona and we're back on the hunt for hot springs. So if you like, well, natural hot springs, beautiful canyon hikes, private beaches, and free camping, then you should probably stick around. Don't forget the swimming holes. Is this it? <laughs> this is why we came back to Arizona. I thought the only place to find Joshua trees was in Joshua Tree National Park, but we just stopped on the side of the road for a power cord out of the RV, and we're actually on Joshua Tree Forest Highway in Arizona. You know, unfortunately, we're not financially balling enough to afford an RV with wings because as the crow flies, our destination is not far from our spot, Mark. You can go north or south from Parker, but either way, it's gonna take you about two and a half hours. Right now, we're taking the southern route, and I don't think we've ever been this way. It's actually got some really cool terrain. <laughs> I think that this is it. Nice convenient spot next to the road and we're a little blocked off from the wind. Plenty of space and it looks flat. So Four miles down the street this is actually the last viable spot and actually it's quite a few spots. It's right before the cattle guard. Yeah unfortunately somebody left their shorts here but other than that it looks like a nice spot. Well, I'd say Signal Road did us pretty good because we found us a pretty sweet campsite. Yeah, and this is definitely the flattest campsite that we have ever found on BLM land. Now, we're not exactly sure how many spots that Signal Road has, but we did see quite a few that were big rig friendly, especially up towards the top, and then we're all the way back, four miles back by the cattle guard, and it's definitely big enough. Now, there might be other spots beyond this cattle guard. We're not sure. We're already four miles in, so. We found a good one. Honestly, I kind of feel like we're in Joshua Tree National Park's little cousin because, right. I mean, there were Joshua trees around, there's saguaro cactuses. There's the smooth boulders everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of strange. And despite its name, we don't actually have a signal on Signal Road. We lost it about two miles in. Yeah, so if you stay at one of the first campsites, I'm pretty sure you'll actually have full service. Sun's about to go down. We're just gonna enjoy the night and get ready to go hunt some hot springs tomorrow. <laughs> Did you start your hike? Doesn't it... count unless you start it. <laughs> <laughs> The 
Signal Road BLM land is a really cool camping spot all by itself, but it's also only four miles down the road from the Kaiser Hot Springs Trailhead. We have been trying to tell y'all, we are officially suckers for natural hot springs, and this is our second one in Arizona. It's a 3.4 mile hike. Yeah, I think that makes it only 1.7 miles to hot springs. That's good math. That's not bad. <laughs> This is probably one of the easier hikes we've done recently in terms of terrain because you're mostly walking through the washout. Yeah, all you gotta do once you leave the trailhead parking lot is cross back across the road underneath the bridge and hit the washout, start walking. You know what that means, right? We're almost there. That's right. It's not the Delaware, but we're doing it. <laughs> Pretty slippery rocks. <laughs> Did we just find our own private beach? I think so. <laughs> this is pretty great. This yeah. is why we came back to Arizona. Yeah. Wow. Not a bad way to spend a Tuesday, y'all. This hike right here gets bonus points because it also has Burrow Creek and a bunch of swimming holes and sandy beaches. Come for the hot springs, stay for the private beach. And it's only a few hundred yards past the hot springs. As you can see, sun's going down behind us and when you've been hanging out at the water all day in these canyons, when that happens, you know it's time to go. But I will say, it's not often that you come to a terrain like this to find a swimming hole and have a sandy beach like that. Yeah, honestly, it was a great tipper. When you start to see water, you're gonna know that you're close to the hot spring. And it's actually just sitting right here in the wash and it's kind of blocked off. I don't know who did that, but thank you for doing it. So when we first rolled up to the hot springs, there was an older European couple sitting in here and they go, it's 38 degrees. And obviously we knew they meant Celsius. Yeah, obviously <laughs> not Fahrenheit because that'd be really cold, but it feels really, really good. Today. It really does. For our Arizona hike so far, I would definitely say this one has the best thing for its walk because it was only 1.7 miles and you get to sit in this great hot spring. We have actually seen quite a few people out here enjoying both the hot spring and the swimming holes. So if you can get out here, not a hard hike, highly recommend. Yeah, it's pretty wild. <laughs> All right, break time. And I will say, uh, doing research to come out here, I did see a young lady who came out here and saw wild cattle and bighorn sheep 
However, Project RV style, we don't get to see the cool wildlife. No, but we definitely ran across a bunch of their poop, so. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> <Yes>. out <here. laughs> you know, we do an awful lot of talking about the work and reward system here at Project RV, but the truth is, is that on our way down, we saw a couple running back up the canyon. Yeah. And no thanks no we are not at that level we yeah. are definitely training for havasu pie falls but like i am not there yet <laughs> no our idea of work and reward is like hike there bring like a couple of booze beverages and it's like it's a lot lighter on enjoy. the way back i'll tell you that <laughs> Are you two ready to go? <laughs> I'd say we're officially on fire when it comes to finding awesome free camping locations. That's like our third in a row. Yeah, but if you need a little bit more supplies or if you just want to fill up before you come out here, there's the BLM uh, Burrow Creek Campground. They have sewer, restrooms, and water fill up. Or if you really want to go fancy, there's tons of RV parks around. Well, that was a fun one. Another Arizona hot spring adventure in the books. We'll leave all the Kaiser hot spring info below for you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun and hopefully we will be back with more. And if you want to follow along with our day-to-day -day activities, make sure you follow at Project RV Living Live on all the social media and like we said before if you're a fan of a twofer kaiser hot springs and hanging out at those swimming holes is a great way to spend a day but it's time for us to pack up hit the road and we will catch y'all next sunday Bye.